Most people don't even know how easy this actually is. Uh, if you are in a situation where you're editing within your iMovie project and um, you only want to export audio only, maybe you're doing a podcast, maybe you are using some sort of external uh, audio editing source, uh, anything like that is actually really, really easy and I didn't know how to do it for a long time. Uh, and I wanted to do an updated version to show everyone this is how uh, easy it still is because I do get a lot of comments asking me how to do this. Um, and some people saying that the, on the latest version they can't find it. But So the way that you do this is once you have your project uh, recorded and let's say you uh, have this project like this. Now on iMovie you have to have a video file on there. Um, you can go ahead and record something within iMovie and go past the video file, but in order to edit and do all sorts of different things with it, this is going to be the easiest way to do this. So once you have your audio all laid out um, and in your project, no matter what the video file is, uh, once you get it set up to where you want it and you're ready to export the audio only, you're going to go up to the export button like you normally would, which is right up in this top right hand corner. You click the export button and then you're actually going to click export file just like you would if you were exporting your video project. And so then your options are going to come up here, uh, which allows you to choose how you want to export your file and right under where it says format. Those little arrows, you're going to click uh, next to video and audio and you're just going to select audio only. Um, from there, you can select the file format for what kind of audio you you want. You can do uh, WAV, uh, AIF, um, MP3, anything like that, um, whichever one you desire. I normally just do uh, MP3. Uh, it's, I don't really uh, mess with any of the other stuff. I mean, there's a lot of people that would tell you you got to do a certain kind, and a certain kind is the best quality, and, and I'm sure there is, I'm, but I'm just here to show you how to do this. So, um, And so once you get that all selected, you just click Next. And then it allows you to uh, save wherever you want to go. And boom, there you go. Now your file, as you look here in the top right hand corner, is exporting. And once the file is completed, uh, you will have a fully uh, exported audio only version of your project, which you can then use for podcasting. Uh, like I said, if you're going to you know, use it to uh, edit audio, I used to do this. I used to have an external audio editor where I would actually export the audio out of the project and then uh, enhance the audio and then I would import it back into the project and swap out uh, the new audio file that would have all the edited uh, versions in there. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments section below. Uh, I can help and possibly create a video towards it if you, if you are needing assistance. Uh, please like, share, subscribe if this video did help you out and I will catch you guys in the next one.